CataractCoach.com using the 11 blade for the FACO incision. So can you use this low cost disposable blade for a good incision? Watch this. So as you know, this is a very inexpensive blade here. It's not designed to make a corneal incision, but you can do it. So a surgeon here starting off, entering the eye. Now you're gonna be very cautious here because it's not the correct size blade. So you're gonna to have to adjust the way you do the incision. As you enter the eye here, you need to widen it up but because of the shape of the blade, look how long it is. Look how far in the AC the blade went, right? You got to be very cautious with that because that blade went so far inside the eye. If you're not careful, you can inadvertently nick or damage the anterior lens capsule. You could damage the iris. So if you're an experienced surgeon, you can certainly do this technique. Now, we have to keep in mind that there are differences in the way people practice. Sometimes you'll be in a position or in a facility where you don't have access to the most expensive and fancy pieces of equipment, and you may not have access to very expensive care terms. Now look at the tripen blue dye. The incision looks fantastic. Look at the architecture of it. The roof and the floor of the incision are beautifully done. It's a nice square incision. You nick the limbal vessels. That's a beautiful incision. And the amazing part was this incision was made with just an 11 blade. So yeah, you can certainly do this, and some surgeons in their facilities, this is the standard that they're doing. But you can see that incision turned out just beautifully, as good as you could make it with a very expensive steel keratome, and obviously for a fraction of the cost. And you can, these 11 blades are so cheap, you can certainly just use a new one for every case. And here now, this present thesis looks like being made with a needle. Beautiful, let's watch this again. Here's another one. So again, using the blade here, a little bit of a groove being done right now, good. And now watch this, this is the challenge. Because remember the blade is very long. And so you, when you make the incision as wide as you want it to be, with the right architecture, you may have the tip of the blade going very far in the anterior chamber. So you gotta be very cautious, very cautious, there it is. And then now the incisions widen up a little bit. You can go further in. Now this incision has a little bit of a shorter tunnel length than the first one. I think the first incision was uh, the one that I preferred, but even this one's good. Look, nick in the limbal vessel, I'll show you again. Nick the limbal vessel with a little bit of a groove there. That groove's gonna help you delineate where to start, and then obviously nick in the limbal vessels means it's gonna seal beautifully um, in the future. And then now, again, using the blade to enter here, and keep in mind too, the 11 blade only cuts on one side. Most of our keratomes are cutting on both sides. And then going inside there, and you have to know about how wide you're gonna make it, and then you get an appropriate um, tunnel length and appropriate width here. And now at the end here, squaring up those sides of the incision. That looks fantastic. And here it is, the end of the case. You can see it'll seal up just beautifully. So certainly you can use an 11 blade to make the incision. It's not easy though. You have to be very careful. Thanks for watching.